So I want to welcome everyone today. Uh, this is an exciting day for us. This is always uh, the highlight of the year for those of us at ABH and our staff. So much of our work on a daily basis is about confronting challenges, confronting the challenges you all um, face on a daily basis to provide the best services possible in the most effective way for the clients you serve. Today is not about challenges. Today is about celebrating successes and the successes um, that of the recipients that will be honored today, but that also for our entire field. And that's why it's a really exciting day for us. You are all on the front lines in very difficult times. And on behalf of the members of the Joint Committee on Mental Health, Substance Use and Recovery, I thank you for your service. You provide the invaluable supports that allow your clients to embrace resilience and love, live, work, learn, and strive to reach their personal goals. Truly from my heart to the folks who are getting awards, have gotten awards and will get awards, uh, congratulations. It's not an empty award when you when it's given to you from your peers. I don't know if you're told often enough how important you are to us, those of us who struggle with something that is so stigmatized and still looked at as maybe a misunderstanding, a, a, a not knowing what mental health really is, how impactful you've been. Somehow we can find a way to work together to get people to treat mental health like physical health. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I was really excited to hear that Melissa Porter had won this award. By the way, she wasn't able to be here today. She's taking some uh, time off, not in Italy, however. But uh, anyway, uh, those of us who run programs know how lucky we are when we come across somebody that uh, really has the combination of skills necessary to run these programs. Melissa runs a large CBFS program. And those of us who are aware of what those programs do know that it takes a person with a, an amazing set of competencies. You have to know a little bit about finance. You have to know a little bit about treatment. You have to know about substance abuse. You have to know about housing. You have to know about homelessness. All those things. So you have to be an expert. You have to have a lot of different competencies. You've got to be able to do a lot of things. But that in and of itself, lots of people have competencies and they're still not that successful or they still can't make, they still can't bring it home. Uh, Melissa had those attributes that go a little bit beyond that that make me proud to have her working for the Center for Human Development. You know, she, we, she works in the city of Holyoke, the area, and Holyoke is a very, very depressed area. Lots of crime, lots of uh, homelessness, no jobs. It's a pretty tough place. and. Uh, the staff, in order to be successful there, it takes a lot of inspiration, a lot of motivation, somebody who can really focus people because, man, it is a tough job. Anyway, I'm lucky enough, we're lucky enough to have a person like Melissa who does that. Somehow, the staff there are just so excited. They're just so driven. They're just so focused. And so uh, that's what makes her special, and that's what makes me so glad uh, that she received this award. Additionally, I think, you know, any of us who are running programs, we all know when we come across a person like this, it's really something special, really something nice, and it's what makes all of us end up looking good. Without the Melissa's of the world, we'd all be in big trouble. And she is wonderful, and uh, uh, we, I can't thank her enough for what she's done. Anyway, Jason Haas, who has worked with Melissa for years, uh, and assists her every day is accepting the award. So thank you, Jason.